So today is a very cool day, a day that I've been stoked about for a long time. So I just got a call from my buddy Justin Sip, and he said that the custom 6.5 he's been building uh, building for me is done, and I can come pick it up and take it home. So I feel excited. It's like getting the call that your wife's in labor or something, go to go pick up a new baby. But I'm gonna let him give you guys the rundown because he's the expert on this sort of thing. And I'm gonna show you my new gun, and uh, yeah, let's go get it. All right, Ben, this is what we did with your rifle. You brought me the Remington 700 and 204 Ruger and we wanted to make it into a 6.5 Creedmoor for you. Uh, so we blueprinted the receiver, we re-threaded it, um, we squared the lugs, did the bolt face, we opened the bolt face up and put a M16 style extractor in it. Uh, we removed the Remington bolt handle, put a straight bolt handle on it with the aluminum knob on the end. Uh, we've got a Trigger Tech trigger, primary trigger goes from pound and a half to four pounds. Uh, we used a preferred barrel blank uh, from, preferred, from preferred barrel, uh, one and eight twist stainless steel barrel. Uh, we fluted it, chambered it 6.5 Creedmoor, put a three port muzzle brake on it. Uh, we also, so we start with a really high quality uh, stock, fiberglass stock. It's kind of a, kind of, they come in kind of rough, so we do a lot of work on them. Pillar bed it, uh, float the barrel. Put a nice soft recoil pad on it. Put the pick rail on it for your Atlas or your Hatch Out West, whatever bipod you like to use. Uh, and then we wrapped everything up in Cerakote. So we've got our nice dark gray Cerakote. We are kind of our own custom color. And we did OD green on the stock with black webbing and a clear Cerakote to cover everything up. Beautiful. So that's the basic rebuild on the Remington 700. So the cool thing about this is, is I brought this gun into Justin and he just worked it over like this. So it can save you a lot of money up front instead of building a fully custom gun. So he does these rebuilds and these workovers and at the end you end up with a gun that is just every bit as accurate and as functional as a fully custom gun at a price point that's a lot more affordable. So Justin's a stud and I mean, I'm just so stoked on how this gun turned out, you know, getting my hands on it, looking at, looking at it and holding it. But I'm even more excited to check it out and see how it shoots and go put some lead downfield. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it shoots and we'll give you the whole rundown on that. So I think I actually might side in with a coyote load to begin with, just to see what it'll do to a dog because I want to go hunting bad. This is Justin's shop. He said that he should have cleaned up, but I don't care. You guys know this is the, this is the place where the magic happens. And uh, he's got a lot that he's working on in here. I don't know if it, um, it's, all, it's all good for me to show you or not. I may have to edit up some super secret stuff, but he can do pretty much anything. And uh, he's here in Tokerville, Utah. I'm gonna leave his uh, information in the description of this video, and so you guys will be able to check him out. Justin, anything else you wanna add before we're done? No, I think you're gonna love the rifle. Uh, it'll perform well, and I think your kids will be using it. Good. <laughs> right on, well thanks, Justin. Hey, no problem. I went to Sportsman's, I got some ammo. <laughs> Successfully paired. I went to Sportsman's, I got some ammo for this Creedmoor. I just really wanna go put some range, some, uh, some loads down range and see how it is, how it feels, how it shoots. Maybe mess around and get it kind of close to dial today and then um, I am gonna order some really lightweight bullets uh, They're a 97 grain Hornaday Barman Express. I think is what they're called B max bullet and then I'm gonna dial this thing for coyotes so I can hunt something with it right away um, I've been reading a lot of reviews online and it seems like a lot of people really like that load for coyotes, but the rounds the bullets that I got today, the rounds I got today are 120 grain uh, Winchester target load. So they're just a cheap one, just cause I wanna see how it feels and what it does. So let's go see how this thing shoots and what we think about it. So I came up here and set up a target. Um, there wasn't an open table at the range. There's a lot of people there and I don't like shooting around other people necessarily. So I came out here and I set up a little target here that is at 25 yards and I'm just gonna see how it is, see if we can get it on paper from there. And then I'll find somewhere out in here at 100 to shoot it, but this is my very high-tech shooting table. You probably don't wanna do this if you care about your truck's paint, because it'll get muzzle blasted, but I don't necessarily care about mine, so uh, I'm gonna send a few at that target right there and see how, how it looks. I'm 
not gonna lie, I was surprised how light that trigger was and I jerked it terribly. So let's try that again. All right, so let's go look, see how we did. Um, initial impressions on the gun, very low recoil uh, and a very light trigger, which uh, will take a little bit of getting used to, but I like it. So here's what I did. So these right here, this was number one. That was the one I flinched on on the trigger. That's two and three right there. Dialed up, that shot's four and five. So up and down, we're really, really close. And we're gonna bump over to the right a little bit and we will be in the money. So grouping really well, this is only 25 yards obviously, but that right there, those two, pretty dang close. Those ones are almost touching, almost torn out between them. So that's as good as I ever shoot, probably. All right, so I've been making some adjustments here on the scope. And this is where I'm at right now. So I shot these adjusted to here, shot these two adjusted a click, and that was my last shot right there. So I gotta go about another inch there, and we'll be killing on the orange. So I'm gonna take a couple longer shots with this thing. We're not 100% dial, this is just kind of for fun because why not, right? I've only shot at 25 and then I shot a rock at 100. I didn't even put it on paper yet because I'm not exactly Mr. Precision, but I just like to shoot. Um, so I got a rock out here, I haven't ranged it. Um, I'm guessing 400, maybe a little bit more. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can just shoot it with the hash marks that are in my scope. This Vortex, four to, it's a four to 16, it's a Viper HSLR. It has the BDC reticle in it. So let's see if I can shoot it with my hash marks. I like, I'll range it and let you guys know how far it is. So the range is gonna be, wow. <laughs> That's embarrassing. 779 yards away. What? How did I think it was so close? 779. All right, let's see if I can shoot it. Well, there you go. Um, with my hash mark, the first one hit a little bit high right, so I just compensated on the second two and hit it pretty close to center. I mean, for 775 yards and never having messed with this gun and no turret, just using the hash marks. Yeah, yeah I'll take that. I'll take that. So, well, I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to show you a little bit more about this gun. Um, and I'm going to be hunting a lot with it, hopefully, in the coming years. So this started out as a 204 Ruger, as we talked about the other day. And basically, Justin took it, put a new barrel on it, put a new action on it. Or sorry, stuck with the same action, but put a new barrel on it. Um, M16 silent track extractor, new trigger, and he uh, fully, I mean, just went through a custom stock and a muzzle brake the whole breakdown so if you guys want to do this 20 year guns if you have a gun that's kind of laying around or you're not getting the best use out of it or maybe it's an old gun and you want to see it modernized call Justin I'm gonna put a link to him in the description of this video and he'll be able to help you out with that I'm super impressed with this gun I'm excited to take it on a lot of adventures you guys let me know in the comments um, if you were gonna build a custom gun what caliber would you build I have the opportunity to probably build another one with Justin in the future and I'm thinking of a 6mm Creedmoor for coyotes. And I'm also thinking of a bigger gun like a 28 Nosler. But what's your go-to caliber? And if you were building a custom gun today, what would it be? Anyway, thank you guys for following along and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been educational for me. I can hear myself talking in these earphones and it sounds really weird. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.